Just imagine if you could have this much food in your vegetable garden and not have to water it at all or fertilize. Wouldn't that be amazing? Welcome to Homestead Gardening in the Texas Gulf Coast with Kristen Howard. In this episode, I'm gonna share why the kukuzi or snake bean gourd is one of my favorites for summer. This year, I decided to let my chicken coop work for me a little bit and planted this kukuzi snake bean gourd all over the coop. What I didn't expect about the kukuzi was it'd be such a good replacement for zucchini, especially in the heat of summer. <laughs> <laughs> it has such a mild flavor and is a fantastic versatile food. It also grows extremely fast and of course because it's a gourd it handles the heat like a champ. Houston has also had a really terrible drought this summer which means a lot of our vegetable plants are already struggling in the heat and the lack of natural water is making it so difficult for every gardener. Okay here's why I love gourds. Not only do I barely water this plant but I don't fertilize it either and neither do the chickens, honestly. Nothing flows this direction as far as that's concerned. And look at all this food that it produces. That's just one of the many fruits found on this vine. Let me show you the rest. Gourds need a lot of room to grow. And luckily I had this chicken coop dying for some shade. This gourd was the perfect fit to make sure that my chickens had shade in summer and grow a ton of really heavy fruit without causing any structural damage. In my experience, it seems that gourds with white flowers also happen to flower only at night, like the kukuzi and bottle gourd. Whereas gourds with yellow flowers tend to flower during the day, like loofah and wax gourd. There are plenty of night pollinators for this gourd, so there's no need to hand pollinate in order to set fruit. I've hopped over to the back side of the chicken coop and based on the chicken coop dimensions, you'll notice that this vine is over 30 feet. Kind of amazing, it's only growing in one direction. Just imagine if this vine was growing in both directions, I'd have a 60 foot vine. It may be difficult to tell how much food this vine is actually producing, but we have many fruit already formed in this section that are extremely large and completely ready to pick. I actually find this size fruit to be the tastiest and that's usually the size that I pick, leaving the rest for seeds. I'm gonna be harvesting some of this newer squash today. This has um, been growing on the chicken coop and so we actually have this protective metal wire and a lot of scabbing with the fruit trying to get through. Um, some of these are gonna be harvested late. They really should have been harvested a couple days ago and they grow so quickly it's easy to harvest these at the wrong time. This size is probably the best size for harvesting with this being a little bit over and this being a lot over. Um, it'll be really seedy in this section that's much, much larger, but Towards the top, we have about a one inch diameter and that will be perfect for cooking. If you decide to harvest at this later stage, that's okay. Just make sure you peel it and remove any seeds. Kakuzi gourd and zucchini are members of the same squash family. But unlike zucchini and other summer squashes, kakuzi isn't as susceptible to pests, disease, or fungal issues and requires very little care. Young kakuzi is a great garden replacement for zucchini and a very close substitute in the kitchen. To prep kakuzi, pick young, peel and chop, or scoop out CD flesh from older fruit and continue to prepare as you would normally for a cooked zucchini dish. You want berries? What if I just gave you a couple? Would you go away? <laughs> 